Hi, Misha's here. You might have seen one of my recent videos in which I describe how I learned app development and built an app in 30 days. One month. I'm starting today. Which might seem strange considering that some people go to college for four or five years to learn the exact same thing. So how is that even possible to do something that most people go to college for and study for four years or more? How did I do it in 30 days? It's actually not the only thing that I did in a very extremely short term. In 2011, I was getting ready for my work and travel program. I could barely speak any English, but I needed English to get a job. I didn't take any English courses. I just taught myself English in three months. And in three months, I could speak English on the conversational level. I used to prep for my school exams in one day. I also did another thing in a very short term that taught me a lot about the mentality of executives and what business schools want to teach you. I did a GMAT test. It's kind of like your SAT, but for people who are getting their MBA. So usually these are people in their 30s who want to advance their career, who want to get into an executive role. This test is not exactly like your SAT. Even though GMAT is focused on English, logic, and mathematics, what lies beneath it is your ability to make decisions fast based on a limited amount of information. So for example, if you're given a complex mathematical problem and you're only given one minute to complete it. Let's say this equation. How are you gonna solve it in one minute or less? Well, the answer is you round it out. You just know approximately what has to be there and then you pick from the given choices. So after passing that test, I kind of made a framework to quickly get up and running with something that you wanna do. Well, first of all, build a mental skeleton or logic, learning foundation, whatever you want to call it. If you're learning a language, learn the grammar of that language. Software, learn general layout of that software, what each part of the layout does. If you're learning software engineering, learn the logic. You will learn all other things later. You're going to have to set up a mental skeleton or a learning foundation on which you're gonna start putting specific parts of knowledge one by one. The second aspect of it is be comfortable not knowing things. This is what software engineers, for example, face every day. You think software engineers just write code and keep it in their heads all the time? No, their job is mostly Googling stuff. They get a task as a general description of what has to be done. They have to figure out how to do it pretty often they don't know. As they start going through each part of the task, they will start searching for answers. In the end, hopefully, they will have a complete part of software. The third aspect, put in the time without distractions. It's much easier to say than to do, but you have to force yourself to reduce distractions, and just sit down and put in the time learning the thing that you wanna learn. It's very easy to slip off, start procrastinating, but try to focus, it will pay off. The fourth aspect is learn as you go. You will figure stuff out. There's always an answer to everything. This is how scientists work. Anyone who wants to solve something, jump into it without knowing how to resolve it. So if you wanna learn something, be comfortable not knowing what you don't know yet, but be patient and it will pay off. The last thing, learn in generalities if you wanna learn fast. Don't fall a victim of your own perfectionism. You will learn and better your skill every day you put in more time into it. But if you want to learn something fast, learn in generalities. This is pretty much it. I hope you learn whatever it is you want to learn. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, all right, all right. Today we're tasting Glenfiddich 18, small batch reserve. That's a beautiful tube out here. Glenfiddich is one of the more famous scotches. 
Glenfiddich 12, their standard expression, is the most popular single malt scotch in the world. Glenfiddich 18 is their small batch release. This is a uh, older expression, 43% ABV. As far as I remember, if I'm not mistaken, Glenfiddich is a space site, but they market themselves as Highland. Reason being, Highland is a bigger region and it's more famous. Right off the bat, I feel a lot of apple and is it pear? Yeah, I like the typical space side notes. Some grassy elements in there. Cream, caramel and vanilla, a lot of wood notes. There is some walnut aspect to it. Just a slight hint. The main theme here is wood, but it's not extremely spiky as many of the woody whiskeys are. I just tasted Shildak 21 and Shildak was a lot more spiky, even though it was an older whiskey. This one is a lot more rounded off and smooth. Mm. Mmm, mmm, very good. Anyways, a nice space side, 80 to $90 per bottle, worth it. I'm not a big fan of uh, woody whiskeys, but if you're into that kind of stuff, if you're into space side, you're definitely gonna love this one. I'm just gonna lean back and finish it. 